Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. It's a good day. We are hungry, so we stopped by Mod Pizza to get something to eat on our way to Nana's house. And I like Mod Pizza because they have a lot of gluten free options as well. Um, I would like garlic. I would like the white cheese. <laughs> well, first give me that. Yeah, that one and that one. The soft cheese. The soft. What do you call that cheese? Oh. Ricotta. Yeah. Yeah. Sauce. Both. Uh, you got onions, jalapenos. Is that jalapenos? Jalapenos. Yeah. Yeah, I love the fact that you can get a gluten-free pizza dough made with either cauliflower or gluten-free flour. Pretty dark out here. We're on our way to Nana's. So we picked up the pizza. It's Friday. It was a long day. Uh, we've both been working. Kenton's been working and studying today, right? You had a final yesterday. Yeah. Well, yeah. I got a little study there, but mm -hmm. need more, but no, I've been driving. <laughs> and uh, in the back we have Nana's chairs. Well, they're not the chairs, they're the seats. They're the seats. Well, you probably saw in a pre previous vlog with Nana in it, she picked the fabric from Joanne Fabrics to recover, recover some older chairs and uh, pleather for some bar stools. So once she purchased that, then Bashir and I took it out to this older guy or older man who happened to be, you know, I guess one of the old time upholstery type of people, right? He's Italian. And then that was literally, I think it was less than two weeks now, right? I think it, yeah, it had to be, yeah, it had to be less than two weeks, so not bad. And then um, today, uh, or yesterday, he texted me first and told me that it was ready, so Kenton went and picked it up. So that's what's in the back of the car. We're gonna drop that off to Nana. And we've also picked up some pizza from me because I haven't eaten all day, gluten-free pizza, and a mini pizza for Nana vegetarian, and some pasta, which Kenton cooked, pasta and meatballs. But we also got the little pizza. And it's cold, and it's dark, <laughs> and it feels like we're driving through country, but not really. <laughs> Yep. So we made it to Nana's. You can see the seats in the fabric Nana had picked. It actually looks really nice and it looks perfect for this style chair. And yeah, Nana seems to be pretty happy with it so far. So Kenton is going to try to um, screw in the seats, but I guess he was realizing they didn't have enough screws or were missing some screws. Anyway, he's got some studying to do, so he'll come back in the next day or two to attach yeah, the seats. Know. Anyway, I got my handbag, I got my hammer, <laughs> got my tea packed. This is some food that I'll eat in the car, and then Kenton's drill. So we're going to Nana's house, do a few chores, and hang out with her on a Saturday evening. I hoped I would get there in the morning, but it never happens that way. I slept in late because I was up editing late, so I kind of work nights. So that's my life. It is what it is. So on the way to Nana's, we stopped by Sam's Club to get some gas. As you can see, the parking lot is packed. Holiday season, everyone's out, especially on the weekend. Anyway, so GPS takes us down this country road. Uh, not the road we typically drive to see Nana's, but whenever there's traffic, it will give you an alternative route. And I don't particularly like these type of routes <laughs> because it kind of makes me nervous. It seems sort of remote, but it really isn't. Anyway, we're about like 20 minutes from Nana. We're not that close, but we're not, you know, super far either. So we are getting close, getting close, getting close. It's a kind of scenic drive, I guess. So we're at Nana's house. <laughs> Say hello to Nana. <laughs> Look her with a pen in her ear, looking all profesh, like she doing something. <laughs> I've been busy all day. I've been busy since 7.30, 8.00. Alexa, off. 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> I've been busy all day. Uh huh. The last thing I was stressing about is what? the darn TV that's what? supposed to go upstairs was supposed to be here since yesterday. Oh. Uh -huh. It just came. Oh, they brought it? Finally. Oh, because the guy has to install it. When right. is he installing it? Tomorrow morning. And uh -huh. so I thought it mm. was supposed to come today. I had to cancel him. Oh, okay. Anyway. Anyway, so you can see she's busy. Look at her island. It's a little messy. I've been well, washing up stuff to go in the cabinets. Oh. Uh, okay, let me not distract you. Make your tea. Actually, Kenton, you want some water, right? Because he hadn't drank. Oh, uh, I'll give him some water. We have plenty of glass. <laughs> oh, Kenton's got his toolbox. <laughs> that work. <laughs> you know how they put the signs out on the street when Too cheap. quickly, but they were cheaper, yeah. By the way, I hope you watched my last video. You would have seen that I did my hair, gave myself a new hairstyle. It was a whole debacle. <laughs> it was so much work, so much work. And so I'm just showing you a few clips of the video that I previously put up and so that the next few clips will make sense. First of all, you gotta put it on. Ooh, green lights on. Oh my God, this is a lot. And uh, here we go, halfway. So I don't usually have Kenton cutting my hair, but I trusted him this time to do it. And besides all the faces he was making and cutting off a little bit too much, it wasn't bad. Okay, I think that's better. I had to come back and cut the sides to match the back. And in the end, this is how it turned out. It wasn't super silky, but it was okay. And I liked the texture of my hair and it felt soft. All right, so I have to show you how I mummy take my silk press seriously. You know, yesterday it was all puffy mm -hmm. because it got wet and it got worse. I don't know what happened, it got worse. So now what I done is I wore this hat because I was, I put a shower cap on it. Kenton was like, he's not going out with me like this. No. So that's why, no, well, that's why sure. I put the hat no, on. For sure. You and said then, seen girls out. So there. So I had to actually go and re-straighten it a little bit in order to uh, prevent it from puffing up. So annoying. I said, I'm not spending hours on my hair for it to be half afro, half straight. It was like straight hair and afro hair. Well, you might as well just keep your hair natural because you're Yeah, not. well it is it is natural. They have what they call straight naturals. Meaning nowadays there's a lot of girls who no longer put relaxer in their hair. Right, I know. They that. just flat iron it and they're natural, but they keep it straight. But because once you do it too frequently, yeah. your hair doesn't curl back up. It gets what they call it gets heat damage or some people say heat drained. But it's really the same. Your hair loses the curl pattern when you keep straightening it. So yeah. it's like a relaxer. Yeah, but that damages your hair also. Yeah, over time where you see them with the short pieces yeah, it's broken because it's because broken it's off. Dry. So I think to me this is going to be a twice a year thing. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Twice a year because I don't mind my hairstyles, my natural hairstyles. Yeah, we're not doing... That's what it's nice. But it's okay. It makes me look a little younger, I think. Maybe? Yes. You think? Yes. With the mm. gr gray hairs going through. <laughs> the shade. With the gray hairs going through. But you see younger girls, you see 30-year-old women with gray hair nowadays. Yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> I like the gold frame on it. I mean, the gold knob. St. Paul's yeah, Catherine. Cathedral. Mm. It's just like the cathedral, it has a gold cup. Yeah. Oh, nice. I used to work close, close to St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh, really? That's why I bought tea pot as a souvenir. When was the last time you were in England? 2017. Oh, okay. So not super long. I mean, you've been out of the country more than I have. I was there 2016 and 2017. Mm. You still have 
How many boxes left? More than I can. <laughs> this is out. These are out. This is oh, these all using stuff that you've been using. Honey, I remember buying this because of COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah? But thank for Halloween. I don't usually celebrate Halloween. You guys were coming, and I got this ridiculous spoon. <laughs> It looks like a claw, right? I know. What in the world? I think, what the devil? What is that? It's, a it's spoon. pretty, it's but a it's very bizarre. Yeah, it's Halloween spoon for, um, you know, when I, in the big thing, I would make either, what's that thing? Punch? Punch. Mm -hmm. Any kind of punch. Looks like a back scratcher now. That's what you could use it for. No, this is <laughs> break your skin. This is not the back scratcher. Wow. So I've been alive a long time. Well, anyway, we can't wait for this home tour soon. <laughs> We're getting a home tour from Barbara Ann no, before no Christmas. <laughs> yeah, before Christmas. So did you decide, are you getting a real tree or are you getting a fake tree? Which one, an artificial tree or a real tree? Or no tree? <laughs> I'll get a fake tree because it's easier to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, something, hopefully, if I can find something already dressed. Right. Well, they'll come pre-lit. Pre-lit. Yeah. Because I threw away a whole trunk of... I know, you threw away like trees and Christmas decoration. Over years of collection. Right. My collection was extensive. We have no doubt. <laughs> when I do something, I do it. <laughs> and over the years, it was a lot. I just looked at it and said to be sure, get rid of it. Mm. Don't need it. Mm. That's pretty. That looks like crystal. The way it's shining, yeah. shining, shining. So That's not glass. That looks like crystal. It doesn't sound like crystal. It's heavy lead crystal. It's heavy lead crystal. So here is Nana's office. It's on the first floor and it opens up via two French doors. There is a desk in there. It's kind of messy. There's a filing cabinet. There's a lot of boxes. There is a china cabinet. And yeah, just a lot of clutter, but I'm super excited to get this room set up. Uh, it's going to look very nice and very neat when we're done. So let's get started. Straight ahead, you can see a picture of grandpa, her father, on the floor leaning against the wall and the office chair. I don't know, she might change that office chair in the future, we'll see. But anyway, let's tackle these boxes. A lot of boxes to open up. And uh, most of them have a ton of books in them or albums and a lot of miscellaneous things to go into other rooms. first book is actually a memoir written by Antonina who lives in England. Shout out to her. And I always find it fascinating to see, you know, what books my mother has. Even though she's my mom, right? I still find it fascinating to see what her collection of books looks like. I don't know. My mom's taste random. He's <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> Giant ass TV. Oh, that's for a burning incense. Yeah. Okay, let me finish putting away these books. There are a lot of books to put away. And Nana has also a lot of albums. So I was really distracted by all these albums. I needed to look inside. And this one in particular is my grandparents' wedding album. So she acquired this after they passed away. 
and I'm just fascinated with all these black and white vintage pictures of my grandparents you know life before I ever existed <laughs> and um, they're so pretty right grandma looks a lot like me or at least Nana says I look a lot like grandma you know I have the same sort of round face so this is mom Nana Nana <laughs> this is Nana in her 50s so she wants you to see I did not want to <laughs> I don't know why you came out with that camera. Just... But anyway, I was teasing her saying, look, she's showing arms, she's showing legs. I wasn't showing anything. You were thin. I was just thinner. You were thinner. Yeah. With my dad. Yeah, grandpa. And his brother. Oh yeah, that's and Uncle Robbie. Sammy. And Robbie. And Robbie. He passed too, right? They all passed. Wow, our ancestors now. Here's some more pictures of grandma's wedding back in the day when ladies looked like ladies. <laughs> and look at all the guests. I can see a few people I recognize. That's Auntie Nina. How young. He's absolutely cute. Yeah. His hair needed a haircut. Yeah. See, my mother does have a, a sharpish yeah. Here's a picture of grandma and my mother and little Travis. He's a grown man now, by the way. And this picture I love. This is Kareem holding a mango. Kareem, when he was a little boy, was totally obsessed with mangoes. And above, grandma came to visit me at my private practice. So I'm showing you pictures not in any particular order. For example, this one would have been around 1979 or 80 when we lived in Nigeria with my father and brothers. And this picture was probably shortly after we moved to Nigeria because as you know my brother and I were born in England and eventually we moved to Nigeria that picture of me smiling as a baby and then a picture of me and my brother Bashir I was visiting home from college by that time we lived in Brooklyn New York here I was about 11 with my mom in England this was during a time when my parents were still together Oh, and here are some old wedding pictures of Kenton and I. You can see some of my college friends. Do you see America and Cynthia and Camille? We had a great time at that wedding. It was very lavish, you know, for that time period. And my grandparents went all out to make sure I had a great time. Yeah, it was a great time. We were so young. I can't believe we've literally been married for almost 30 years like literally our whole adult life has been together. <laughs> Aw, this is a very special picture. That is my grandfather on my father's side, dead center in the back row. He has passed and two of my father's brothers on each end have also passed in accidents. You could probably spot me with my face all squinched up. I had braids moving to the back and next to me is Alma. And this is an old picture of my father. This was taken at my grandfather's house. My mom looked so thin. Also, I can't believe how my mom was bold enough to dress, because keep in mind, that was northern Nigeria. Very Muslim, very conservative. So for her to show that much skin was a big deal. And this picture was taken. You can see Kenton and I, we were, I was 23, by the way. There's Bashir, there's Alma. That was taken a few days before we got married. My family didn't know that we were getting married. Actually, I don't even know that I knew I was getting married, <laughs> but we did. We didn't tell our family immediately. And then we actually had a proper wedding, you know, two years later. With baby Khalid, we lived in a high rise in Manhattan. I was a medical resident. I was always pregnant, it always seemed like, and uh, it was a lot. Do I miss those days? Yes and no. I mean, I don't mind being pregnant, but it was a lot while working. So I'm still trying to clear up her office and put things away, and then I found this King Sunny Ade record. Can you imagine? This is going way, way back. I'm taking this home with me because I have a record player at home. I want to listen to it and reminisce and see what my mom used to enjoy when she lived in Nigeria. Anybody still have a record player? I do. Yeah, I think this must have been when you were in what? Um, the university? Yeah. So who is who? 
Ah, I've forgotten these people. Oh, he's dead. He's dead? Yeah, he was my messenger. Oh, is that? I know he looked familiar. Hmm. Hmm. Guandu. Oh, Guandu, right. I think his son is on Facebook. Gavadanshi. Me. <laughs> of course. How come you, the only woman with all these men, no, house of men? She, well, who's this woman? She One was, woman else. She's a, she was, I think she was his wife. Mm. I'm not sure. I don't remember anymore. I don't think so because she's not Hausa. No, I she's not Hausa. Everybody else I can see is Hausa except for maybe him. Yeah. Maybe these people here in the back yeah, he are not Hausa. Hausa. Yeah, I can yeah, see he that. He's very Hausa from Gwandu. Right. And he is Hausa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My face was brown. Too. The vice chancellor of the university, is that who you used to work for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's the vice chancellor. Look at it. Bow. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Scarf, scarf and bow. And <laughs> earrings and necklace. <laughs> Always <laughs> accessorized. I always had to have all sorts of things on. <laughs> you looked Fulani. You looked like you could be Hausa or Fulani, honestly. Yeah, that's what they said. I don't remember now. Mm. I think it might have been some Christmas or some holiday something. At a done the dinner party. Right. With the staff and uh, my sorry I you don't call it sorry what do you call the house of reps the house of rap I, um now you got me forgetting the thing right i know I the rap, rap that you zenny zenny we and house of say zenny walking and it falling off <laughs> and i grabbed it like this yeah but here you're wearing a dress actually yeah, but you regard the zenny they say or some people say well i don't know if that's the same as booba i'm not no. sure Right, Buba is just a. Males. Yeah, I don't know. Bubariga. Bubariga. That's the, yeah, that's the big house uh, gown for men. Actually, this man is wearing a Bubariga. Right. <laughs> but you're eating jollof rice and stewed, stewed chicken or stewed something. <laughs> I want to see you carry all of it. Carry it now. Carry it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach up there. That's the I'm telling you. I can't reach up there. <laughs> I told you, leave it. Leave it there and I'll put it up. You know, I love teasing my mom. And I like this picture because I look so mischievous. Hence, you can see where the sweet tooth started. My parents buying me desserts and sweets and ice cream. <laughs> So we have these rocking chairs that we don't use. And now that Nana is a resident of North Carolina, she deserves some rocking chairs. So we decided to come and drop um, these two off for her front, I guess, would you say front porch? Yeah, um, she's not in, she's out and about. I guess Nana's out living her best life. So we're bringing in rocking chairs that I had on my porch and I wasn't really using it and it wasn't functional so we're bringing it here to her okay we are back at Nana's house another evening and check out her rocking chairs <laughs> she's given it a little Nana personality with the leopard print cushions not very traditional but it's her you're all like stewardess again. <laughs> I put my to... <laughs> one specifically for you today. Because I thought this is how I would normally yeah. dress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Goofing around with the whole scarf around the neck thing, but I don't think it suits me. But anyway, I need to get back to clearing up Nana's office and looking at more pictures of Grandma and Bashir and Grandpa. That was at his graduation with his baby face. As the youngest of my mom's children, Bashir definitely spent the most time with her. For most of Bashir's life, my mom has been a single parent. And I think that's a little unfortunate, you know, not to have grown up with his father. Um, maybe one day they'll have a close relationship, 
But, you know, I think it's important for sons to have fathers or male figures in their life. Aw, this is a sweet picture of Mariam. Long before social media, I started taking a lot of pictures like most parents. You take pictures of your kids. And this one, I had actually crocheted that hat and scarf for her. So I made that and put her in it and then took some pictures. Here she is with an afro. <laughs> She'll kill me for showing you this. <laughs> and then here she is again. Girl, you need your hair done. What is that? What is that? And around the same time, here's sweet little Kareem. He was so adorable. He was such a sweet kid. Still is. And look at all that snow. This was in front of our house in Elmira. Oh my God, I do not miss that kind of snow. But of course, it's beautiful to look at. So I found one of Nana's headbands. Gonna plop it on my head like so. <laughs> Got the hoodie. I also found some old sunglasses. Absolutely ridiculous, this whole look. Let's see, we're gonna call this nursing home chic. Or, um, I don't know, senior citizen chic. <laughs> you dig? You dig? Okay, let's adjust the scarf. I am so silly, darling. I am so silly. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to work. We have work to do. I just found this Barack Obama old calendar and it hasn't even been open. It's like brand new. Hello. Ha! Dancing, dancing, dancing. That's it. <laughs> he makes me happy. And if you're watching this and you're not a Barack Obama fan, well, too bad for you. Too bad for you. But he will always be my president. <laughs> Gave me, Which book? Interpreting dreams. dreams. So he bought this. You'll see his. Yes. Oh yeah. In Bab, this will say Babs to ba Babs to Barbs to uh, from Bo. Uh, um. Eighty-seven. That was December eighteenth, nineteen eighty-seven. So that was a year after we moved or yeah. left. Yeah. All right, and then here's some more devil worship right There's here. Devil worship. <laughs> I don't do devil worship. Uh, she encyclopedia of dreams and dictionary of dreams. Actually, I was really into that. I believed everything you told me back well, then. Of course. <laughs> back then, whatever I said was wrong. <laughs> Not like nowadays. Maria, I tell her something, she goes, "I just have to Google that now." <laughs> just have to Google that. What is Google? Yeah. What I said is said. It's the law. No, it's that, not. That's for them. You get it. Making progress. Nana wants me to hang up this sun mirror above her desk. And that's what we're about to do if I can stop goofing off. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for keeping me company. And I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to thumbs up and look out for another vlog on Sunday. Thank you so much. Bye.